Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, flexible Bezier keyframes in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, working with keyframes, whether it's audio or video, is important inside Premiere Pro. Being able to, to smoothly move between keyframes is essential, and you can do that using Bezier handles with a little keyboard shortcut. Let's go have a look. So first of all, on the left, I'm, I'm strictly just looking at the audio keyframes right now, but you can do this for any kind of keyframe. I've separated my clip mixer and my uh, track mixer together. The track mixer is in the window track mixer, audio mixer, track mixer, um, to show both of these kinds of keyframes. So I've got a, a stereo file right now, and you can see as I change it, it's changing the clip volume up here. So there's no difference between you doing that here or doing it down there. If you want to now add keyframes to this, there's two things that you can do. You can use the command key on the Mac, control on Windows, and click, and you've added a keyframe. But it's much easier to go over here and grab the pen tool when you want to work on several keyframes. So when you click, you can see the little plus, I'm adding a keyframe. When you go over top of that keyframe, you can move it. Even though it's still the pen tool, you don't have to, to go and change to the move tool to do that. And now when we play this, watch the track mixer, the clip mixer rather, you can see it's moving. So that is a clip mixer effect. If you want to change one of these to, instead of a linear, to Bezier, hold down the control key on Windows, the command key on Mac, and click and drag and look at that. Wow, that's incredible. Even better, watch this. Select all of them with the pen tool. Even though it's the pen tool, you can select multiple keyframes, hold control or command, click, and look at this. You've got free Bezier handles directly on here. Now when we play this back, we're going to have smoother automation on that instead of jumping between those keyframes. Very, very powerful. Of course, the other benefit of doing keyframes for the clip mixer is that when we move the clip, so if I trim this and move it, they actually move with the clip. That's what clip keyframes are. But we also have track keyframes. We can do the exact same thing. They're hidden over here in this little pop-up, and I could go to track keyframes, either the volume or mute or panning information. I'm going to go to volume, and you can see it's cleared out. And now we'll be changing. This is A1, so there's A1 over here. And if I change A1 there, you can see it changes A1 down there. And if I move it down there, same thing. So again, with the pen tool, clicking and dragging, or sorry, just clicking to add these, going over top of it and moving it. And you can see our fader is moving along with it now. So this is the track fader. Remember that we've got clip fader information in there, so both of them are going at the same time. And I can select all of those, just like the same clip information. Hold Command or Control, click and drag. Now I've got Bezier handles on here. And they're independent handles, so now when I click on this one, I can move that around all by itself. So we've got handles on either way, and I could, I could even go all the way down here and move it. It's a Bezier handle. And now when we play, we've got both track and clip volume moving up and down. Okay, so you can see that I can grab these, right click, and choose auto, and they auto smooth out all the way down there. As soon as I, and if I go back over here, you can see it's still on auto. As soon as I make any kind of change, then it goes back to continuous. Okay, so really easy ways to do that. And, and again, we could do the exact same thing in, in here for transparency too. They're just keyframes. Now my transparency has Bezier curves on it inside here. So flexible Bezier keyframes right inside the timeline on any parameter. This is including third-party effects too. Just make sure you've got control uh, or command and you click on it and move them around and make everything smoother and get it out of that linear mode. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then download your free 30-day trial. 
In the description is a special URL just for you to go and grab that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.